What is it, guys and gals? It's me. It's the oof. That was not good. Sorry, my words are not being helpful today. But anyhow, what is me? What is up, guys? It's me, Thomas Phantom One here, and again, we're back today for another goof video. Today, we're going to be doing goofs in James and the Coaches. Now, please note. My screen here is a little blurry thanks to some Christmas lights I still have hanging up up on my room. S up in, up on my ceiling in my room. Uh, so if you see those, please ignore them. They're just there. Alright, so without further ado, let's get the ball rolling. James was enjoying his life on the island of Sodo, but he still had a lot to learn. You're a special mixed traffic engine. I've already seen one goof. I need to go back. James was enjoying his life on the island of Sodo, but Dude, look at that guy's work. face. And there's some You're sticky tack, and the fat controller's hands are smudged. You can pull coaches or trucks quite easily, but you must learn by your mistakes. James knew what the fat controller meant. He could well remember that dreadful accident on his first day. Which we obviously know in the TV series is a lie. They don't like being bumped. Everyone came to admire James. I'm a really splendid engine. Obviously things are dusty, paints chipping, weeshing, sound effects. Not exactly great. Um, like his hands are totally zilched. Uh, and if you watch... Well, maybe not that, but... Um, Sorry, I made a mistake there. I'm sure there will be somebody who will tell me I had it right and then it's wrong. If you look at Edward's face closely, you can see that he has a sad face on, along with James. I mean, James you can pretty obviously see. The only reason I know I pointed that out was because Edward's face kind of gets hidden behind the uh, tel the telegraph pole or telephone pole or whatever it is. Of course, there's always that. Hello, James," said Thomas, feeling better. That's right. Oh, that's my guard's whistle. I must go. Obviously, paint chipping. Things are like falling in places. Where's Where's the cow? Where's the or not the cows? Where's the fence? There's no fence there. They ended their journey and rested before setting off for home. James was still wondering what the fat controller would have to say about his top hat. If you look at James's dome in pretty much every episode, there's always some paint missing. And they're bouncing over the tracks a bit. In the eyes, you can see the reflection of the studio lights. It was very rough with the grumbling coaches as he brought them to the platform. Don't talk, come on, he called to them. His eyes were, were wonky in that last shot. You can kind of see the space between the eyes there and... All that, and around the face, around the face area where James's face would be popping through, it's chipped. We never know who's actually pulling these trains in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we fans know it's the Marklin engine. And if you look very carefully, you can see Annie and Clarabelle's nameplates on the coaches. Like, if you look at it very closely, you'll see it. What's the matter? Not in this particular shot. Yeah, his dome's missing paint. This is a little bit of a lighter shade of orange than the other than the last time we saw it. There's some scraping going on the tender. There's that chip. In the Railway Series books, this man has a name. His name is Jeremiah Jobling. Uh, that's not important, just a little tidbit. And you can obviously see the reflection of the lights on the suits. 
will just stop where it is. The passengers all said what a bad railway it was. Then they told the man how bad he was instead. Everyone was very cross. At last he handed his laces over. He seems to be happy he's handing his laces over. If you look, you can see like the bushes moving from wind. Or something of that nature. Oh yeah, you can see it. If you look right along here, you can see Annie and Clarabelle's name. Name plates. So that was Goofs in James. Uh, James learns a lesson, or for you UK fans, James and the coaches. Uh, this is Tom Stan One saying, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to leave a like on this video down below, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell and make sure you get notified of all the new Goof videos I, and toy reviews I do. Uh, don't forget to uh, do pretty much any of the other stuff I said. And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to iStar552, Bravely GG, and Take Along Productions, as I know they work hard on some of the stuff they do. Bravely GG's been a friend of mine for a long time, and iStar552 I'm related to. So, if you would, you know, subscribe to them, it would be great. So, anyhow, thank you for watching. This is Thomas Fanon1 saying, don't forget to keep playing with them trains. Don't forget it.